In the Mix is presented by Bon Thai Restaurant and Lounge. Hi for everybody, I'm Sabrina Salas Matanani. Welcome to another episode of In The Mix. With the Super Bowl right around the corner, we caught up with some super fans. Anthony Big Tone Salas is a power lifter and a diehard Patriots fan, while Marvin Espelita is a diehard Rams fan. We caught up with them at Paradise Fitness in Dededo. Here's Jason Salas with the assist. The Smack Talk Showdown went down here at Paradise Fitness in Dededo. Admittedly, I'm not a huge fan of either teams because I'm more of a Cowboys fan. Yeah, say what you want. So I called in my partner Jason Sullis to assist to referee these ultimate fans. Okay, so here we are, and you know when you come to Paradise Fitness, you are gonna get heavyweights, both of the literal sense. You can pump some iron, get fit and everything, but we've also got heavyweights, both in terms of size. We got Big Tone and Marv right here. Big Tone from Jigo. Jigo. All right. Yes. Good to see you, bro. Thanks a lot. Thanks for, and of thanks for having me. And of course, you are a super fan of the Pats. Yes. How long have you been hardcore for the Patriots? Uh, I jumped on that bandwagon in 2002. So since 2002. All right, so you yeah. bleed red, white, and blue. Pretty much, yes. Okay, well someone who is all about the gold and, and blue, blue or, or yellow and blue because the Rams are actually gonna be wearing their throwbacks when Super Bowl <laughs> comes on KUM TV is Marv, originally from Saipan, from Garapan, but now you stay in Dedido. Yes, sir. Okay, I gotta ask, what drew you to the Rams? Because I know you've been following the Rams since 2000, greatest show on turf. What, what makes you such a fan of the Rams? Just the whole team itself, man. Um, you don't have the quarterback itself. It's a team effort. Marsha Fall, Kurt Warner, you got wide receivers, Torrey Holt, Isaac Bruce. So there are at least team. there yeah. are at least three Hall of Famers. Or two of them already in. Marshall Fox mm -hmm. in the Hall of Fame. Kurt Warner's Kurt Warner. freshly in the Hall of Fame. There's at least two other guys, probably one from the defense, from, um, at least one of those wide receivers, maybe Torrey Holt. But it's a completely different team now. Yeah. What do you see from like Jared Goff, Todd Gurley, you know, all those players? Deja vu all over again with Sean McVay. Yeah. So, so you like you like teams that light up the scoreboard, the yeah. whole run and gun? Mm -hmm. okay. Not just a one-man team. Okay. So, Big Tone, I got to ask you. Yeah. He, he wikipedia all of that. Ooh. Okay. He wikipedia all of that. Okay. Check his Google research. Okay. Yeah. I told you these guys know how to bring it, both both in the weight room and, you know, talking smack. So <laughs> so feel free. Just, just got to watch the four-letter words. Yeah, on yeah, YouTube, yeah, that's totally yeah. cool. But, you know, we got to put this on TV. Okay. Okay. So... The style that the Patriots used to play, like in 08, when they had Randy Moss, they'd go, you know, 40-yard bombs down the field every single time. They're a little bit different team now. You know, they can do the dink and dunk. They can play yeah. small ball, but they can they can also take big shots every now and then. What do you think about their style of play? Well, now, because we got Sonny Michelle and, you know, James White, James White out for the short passes, uh, Josh McDaniels knows what he's doing with these with the running. You know, we, we didn't have a running, running back for how many years? You know, three to five yards is all we got. Uh, James Devlin was our pretty much short yardage, but now um, we're gonna run all over these Rams. Mm -hmm. You know, that's I really, I really like their style of play this time. We don't have any good wide receivers. Josh Gordon obviously left. We got Edelman. He's he's good, but um, we don't have that Randy Moss kind of uh, receiver anymore. Okay, now I'm thinking you stand about like what, maybe six six feet, six one? Five eleven. Okay, five eleven. You're a little bit shorter than Rob Gronkowski. Uh, maybe no, I think he's almost. He's like six eight. He's six, like six eight, but you know that may, maybe he's up to there and everything. Yeah. What kind of game do you see from Gronk? Because you know, like, he's been playing his yeah. best football in a while now. Yeah, but he, he's been quiet. But when we need it, when we need him, it really, you know, he comes to play. Uh, last game, uh, obviously, he played really good. Uh, the game before, but during the season, he was kind of quiet. But Gronk's playoff football. We're going to see some Gronk in this Super Bowl game. You got to represent for your fellow big yes, boy? Yes, always. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, speaking of Sean McVay, you, you know, you're going up against Bill Belichick, the master, the guy who can game scheme for practically anything on all three sides of the ball, offense, defense, special teams. McVay is the new school. You know, he's innovative. He's creative. He can come up with all sorts of plays. You know they're going to do a fake punt. Hecker throws, yeah. throws better spirals than most of the quarterbacks in the NFL and everything. What do you think McVay is going to come up as, with as far as a plan to attack that New England defense? Confidence, uh, like what I said, team effort. He believes in his team. Um, you barely see him get mad. He's, uh, his temper is, um, <clears throat> isn't as bad as the rest of the other head coaches that I've seen. Um, he's very compelled and relaxed. And basically, just he, he just relies on uh, basically what um, his team has 
to offer. Now you've got something in common with him too. You guys really, really take care of your hair. <laughs> McV McVeigh can shit. McV McVeigh's got you know the five o'clock shadow going, and I mean somebody works on that dude's hair. I mean he's in LA, so he he's paying someone. You know he's not exactly going to you know supercuts or anything like that. Um, how do you think about McVeigh's fashion sense? Because it's LA, it's very flashy. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of glitz. They're right down the street from USC, so they've got that tradition of you know, high octane, high impact football. What do they bring to the game as far as you know, as far as the bravado and the attitude? I'd say um, offense. Uh, Todd Gurley, they know how to work him out. Um, yeah, it's pretty much. Uh, I've seen them lose to different teams over this season with the Saints, but then again, see, they go back stronger. They learn their lesson. Uh, they 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 do their homework, and I'm I'm pretty much confident that we got this. Okay. All right, let's take a time out for the Jason Solis halftime workout show. This is the uh, Todd Gurley workout. <laughs> I put more weights than him because the Patriots could handle the heavy load. <laughs> uh, oh, see that, Jace. When you're a broadcaster, you gotta go hard all the time. No mercy. Go. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, uh, oh. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, okay. We're actually using the clear weights right now. They're, they're transparent, so, you know, you can't see them, but those, those are like 345 plates, all right? Where's the light Jason, you're making excuses, Jason. Jason, making excuses, get over here. Bells, dumbbells. I'm doing 10, so you gotta do 15. Okay. Yeah. I've got two dumbbells in my hand and a dumbbell beside me <laughs> who made me get up at 5.30 in the morning. I told him we were doing yoga. Dude, I'm a coder, man. I'm fairly certain this is not in my contract. <laughs> if anything happens, I tell my family I love them. to work out? Just thinking of all the sick days I can take because I'm so sore. <laughs> Don't have to come in for my four straight days. He said, he said, comes to the gym with noodle arms. Yeah. <laughs> Spaghetti squash, bro. <laughs> See, you got the definition, the cut, and the fafa here. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, the halftime show is over. Back to the smack talk. I need you two guys to literally to face off. Okay, okay and we're, you know, we're, we're not gonna swing or anything okay. like that. Cause I, 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 and by the way, KUM and Jason Salas are not responsible for any damages or injuries that may ensue from this from this segment. Just wanted to put that out there. Okay, I'm gonna. Battle, that's yeah, battle. yeah. Well, there you go. Wilding out. We're we're we're, I can't, I can't we're we're gonna do we're gonna do lightning round now, right? I'm gonna give you guys like a topic, then we're gonna go back and forth about why your team is gonna absolutely crush it in the Super Bowl when that happens. Okay. okay. Defensive backs. Oh, uh, you know our, D our DBs. We got the McCordy twins. Uh, we got Gilly. Um, we, they ain't top DBs, but they showed KC what's up. Uh, Patrick Mahomes only had the ball what eight minutes total the whole game. So pretty much our DBs are we're set. We're set for this dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah. DBs have been a concern for uh, LA. What do you got in the secondary? Man, honestly, we got um, everyone is pretty much aware. You guys saw the last game against the Saints. We got Aaron Donald. John Johnson with that interception. Um, we're all awake, you know, we're not sleeping on this. This is our chance. We're gonna take it. Okay, now you guys gotta talk some smack to each yeah, other. Yeah, you, yeah. you guys, you know, we're trying to see who's the ultimate yeah. super fan. Okay. <laughs> Quarterback durability. I don't know, one word, GOAT. You know, that's it. Ooh. Tom Brady, the GOAT. Um, Tom Brady's what, 40, 41 now? Yep. Uh, his QB is like 32. He was probably like a Sophomore when we played the Rams in in um, uh, 2001. So, yeah. Sean McVay was 16 when when Tom Brady won his first Super Bowl. So, he, you know, he, he probably wasn't even watching football at that time. I don't know, but. Ooh. <laughs> hey, but Mar guy, Marv, you got to come back from that because I mean, dude, when you when someone throws greatest of all time in your face, how do you respond right. to that? Hey, one word, golf. Jared Goff. Without Jared Goff, there's no golf make good. <laughs> Ooh, I, I like that. You worked in the local angle too, so you got goat versus you got golf. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
running backs. He talked about Sony Michelle, the rookie out of Georgia. He's got fresh legs, yeah. and they've got at least three guys who can bring it. Yeah, what, do you, what, what do you say about your backfield? Um, you know, honestly, our backfield, we struggled through the year with injuries. Uh, you know, last year, we had Lewis last year. He left, but we got Burkhead, um, Michelle, and he was actually a second string to Gurley. Yeah, so he's going to show Gurley what's up. He's going to run all over that line. Ooh. You know, he's going to run on Darnold. Darnold. Man, honestly, Todd Gurley, he's just different. Um, I've compared him to Marshall Falk. Marshall Falk was quick in size, but Todd Gurley has everything. Impact, he'll, he'll, he'll ram you guys, dude. Yeah. Very got, nice, ram. We got flowers, we got flowers, okay. we got Van Noy. Okay, so we're, we're going we're gonna to do snake draft here. We started with Big Tone, now we're going to start with Marv. Okay, fans. Every, how do you think LA is going to show that they got to travel halfway across the country, literally all the way across the country, coast to coast? How are they going to show up in Atlanta and how are they going to represent their team? All right, see, um, 2000, we won against the Titans in the same area, Atlanta, Georgia Dome, and we're going back there, okay? And see, with LA, LA is a huge market. We don't just rely on our, uh, our team base, but you got musicians, YG, you got BB Rexa, you got. Red Hot Chili Peppers, these guys are raving fans. And with um, the social media nowadays, it easily brings, like what you said, bandwagons onto the team as well. And hey, you guys are more than welcome to jump in, you know? <laughs> oh, that, that's, a lot, that's a lot of yeah, smack right was, there. Okay, it was, it was. Now, and now, of course, LA is the second biggest market yeah. in the US. That's okay. a lot of people. Yeah. But New England, that's seven states, bro. Okay. All I gotta say is, if LA's fan base is so big, why does Oakland show them up every game, right? At least Oakland's fan base is a lot bigger. Uh, I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. It's true, um, but it's New England Patriots, like Bill Belichick. Even if nobody comes, we still gonna play New England football. That's just how these Patriots are, okay. you know. Who am I to disagree with a man with pectoral muscles <laughs> like that? I, I'm, I'm crazy, but I ain't stupid. All right. Okay. Final question. Let me get a score prediction. Obviously, you're going to go for the Rams. Tony, obviously, you're going to go for your beloved Pats. Both teams can really light it up. Both teams have really stout defenses and everything. Give me your honest prediction about what the score is going to be, why you think the Rams are going to bring home the hardware and get the Vince Lombardi trophy. Damn, that's a good one. I'd probably say 2023. 2023. We're going to, we're going to win it with a kick. All right. OK, yeah, he's going, he going to win it with a kick. We're going to win it with a touchdown, you know? 34-28. We're going, to, we're going to win it with more than two or uh, three points. Okay, so yeah. Big Tone is predicting a shootout. All right, hug it out, guys. Man. <laughs> really? Yeah. There you go. Good segment. Good words. And we got good super fans here. These guys are legit. I mean, these guys know football. They know their teams. They're obviously very, very passionate. You guys want to give a shout out to anybody? Um, you know, just shout out to the Patriots. You know, that's it. All right. Yeah. All right, you're, you're gonna be saying the rosary the night before for Tom Brady and Bill Belichick? <laughs> no, I'm just a um, man. So like, I don't really like to watch uh, games around people because I get so intense, so excited. So I'm gonna say a prayer for myself in case I go to TGI or Applebee's. You know? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, shout outs for you. Uh, Paradise Fitness, Mike's growing the entire team. Um, all of you LA Rams out there, St. Louis, Cleveland, no matter, you are all one. Go Horns. Whoa, well, taking it back. All right, hey, thanks guys. No worries. Thanks so much. All right, we are going to do what they call here in Paradise Fitness Center, of course, the cool down phase, because man, that was intense. So let, let's, go, let's go ease down a little bit, you know, like get your muscles all like relaxed. Well, again, you know, when you get the howitzer, you know? Okay, yeah. That was actually the first time Jason's ever accompanied me or helped me out on In The Mix. Thanks, Jason. Great job. Make sure to catch the Super Bowl on Monday, February 4th on KUAM TV 11 at 9 a.m. We're back with more after the break.